Hey everyone, and welcome to a new video. So today I'm doing my February wrap-up because it is now March, and that's what you do. But the reason why I haven't done a wrap-up in a while is because I just haven't been reading. It's not really been a slump because I've been wanting to read, I just didn't have the time. So I haven't finished a book. I haven't finished a book since November, which was NaNoWriMo, and then my musical was show, and then I spent a bunch of Chris- I spent Christmas watching Supernatural, and it's just- and then exams. Ugh, it's just been a lot, and I haven't had- really had a lot of time to read. But anyways, we're going to hop right into my wrap-up now. The first book I read is Wildwood Imperium by- Colin Malloy and Carson Ellis, and this is the finale to the Wildwood trilogy, which I've been wanting to read and have finished for a while since I've had the series on my shelf for two whole years, but this is the book I've been reading since November, and it, the fact that, like, like I said, it was just because I was so busy, not because I didn't want to read this, because I did, I just didn't have the time to, but I ended up really enjoying it. I think I gave it a four out of five stars on Goodreads. The next book I read was War Cross by Marie Lu, and this was a great book to get me, like, back into the thing of reading, because I read this in a day and a half. I just really enjoyed it. I, this book made me discover how much I was actually really into sci-fi, which is nice. It's always nice to discover that you're actually a fan of a genre that you didn't know you were a fan of before. But yeah, Highly recommend this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. I guessed a plot twist and a half, and I'm super proud of that because it made me feel smart to get to be able to guess the plot twists in this book. I I don't it, it doesn't diminish the book for me. It makes me feel proud of myself. It doesn't but like yeah, read this book if you haven't done so already. The next book I read was before She Ignites by Jodie Meadows, and this was another five out of five stars because, like, the main, our main character, Mira, has bad anxiety. She also has slight OCD with her compulsive counting, and also there's dragons. And what else could you want from a book? Mental health representation and dragons. It was a masterpiece, and it like, the way it was told, and like, in the flashbacks from the past, and also the stuff happening in the present. It was a good way to not give you any information until the very end, when it has you hooked, and I was really into that. The fourth and final book I read that month was Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foody, and this was another five out of five stars. This one was really dark and twisted, and it takes place in, like, a festival of sin, and ugh, the main character didn't have eyes, which I thought was so cool. Like, it brought up so many different questions that I wanted to have answers to, but, like, I'm okay that we didn't get answers to. And, like, ugh, I was in need of a good standalone, which is what this was. But anyways, this has been a really fast February wrap up because my camera is dying. But anyways, uh, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up or if you like my face and if you want to see more of it, go and hit subscribe. I will see you in my next video. Now go home and go read a book.